Hey, your friends, welcome to my channel. Yeah, gladly I'm back. I had lots of stuff to do and having a full time job, so I had to take uh, YouTube to the side. But I was busy during this time and I show you my results. Okay, let's do this. Um, okay, um, I found a stack of old balls, so I decided to make some tongs for my my forging. And each of these tongs is made all from balls. You can see the the thread is still here, and in the back you might recognize the hexagon, which. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off, or half, or half. Each of these tongs have a different size, like for 40 or 15 mil plate, so it's comfortable in the handle. So we have uh, four mil, six mil, three mil. Uh, this one is for, um, for square stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, just for the square stuff like um, so on. And here, this one, <clears throat> I found this. This was a, a cutter, a cutter tongue, and Hanneman's iron work expired, um, expired, uh, inspired me um, to do um, a tongue for flat bars. So um, I worked this out. And if you open, you can put it in here, and it's had a, it's got a really nice grip. So then it's easy to to work with it. So you see, um, yeah, it turned out very nice. Thank you, Alex, for that nice video you made. Um, also, I made um, reverse tongs. And they are just for these cold stuff, you know, you, you put a cup on top with, with some fluid, which, which has a nice smell. And if you have to move them, it holds on itself. So you don't, you can't, you can't lose it while, while you, you um, open your hands. It's just sitting there till you squeeze and then you set it where you have, wherever you want it to. Also inspired by Hanneman Iron Works was this troll cross. So I made some of these small and big iron and um, also um, from, I think this one here is uh, stainless steel. This one is stainless steel, so it's non-magnetic and normal steel. And so I made these because uh, he brought up a nice video and I thought, give it a try. And this is my result of it. I hope you can see it well. So, let's carry on. Um, also, I made, um, I don't know what for, but my brain told me just make a fish. And so I, for I forged this fish. And uh, I don't know, it's, type of swordfish and the fin doesn't fit to the sword but it, it's a fantasy fish and it, it looks oh, quite cool I think um, it's got uh, the details on you see this maybe I can zoom in a little bit so we have uh, a fish putting on the wall makes it very nice um, I made some blades also uh, for the use of myself in the kitchen, like um, for veggies, cutting, um, um, how do you say, uh, um, onions, tomatoes, and sharp as hell. It's a full tank knife. I found a nice piece of wood and it turned out very good. Um, I like it very much to work with it in the kitchen. I uh, made um, 
for this knife I made the handle only. This is a very old knife made in Solingen and it was an epoxy handle which was broken. So I took the bark of beech, layers all of them. I took bone, some brass and leather and I gave it a, yeah, a new nice handle. It it's, it's, has got some good grip. Um, I like it very much. So yeah, I made a, um, another kitchen knife for myself. Let me zoom out a little bit. Right there, and um, it's it's a bit longer. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, same sharp as hell. It's long, and you can cut big piece of meat or uh, cold slaw. You chop chop it any any direction you want it to. Give it a nice polish. Uh, so it's easier to clean later on. I used the same wood. I still had a, a little bit of this, so it makes them uh, look familiar. And also made a fishing knife, this type. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Right there. Um, so we have the brass. We have a quite thick back. I put these um, a whole, um, um, yeah, I put these in to scale the fish. Maybe yeah, I would say it's it's outdoor knife fishing, hunting maybe because it's very strong. Also, it's sharp, and the handle same. I have the. The bone. I have some brass. I took some 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 green um, stuff and and gave it a little um, um, yeah, interruption of, of uh, an eye catcher or whatever you say. And in the end, uh, all this I made by myself. I made the the, the brass thing with with um, how you say uh, with a thread inside and. So I made it all nice. Looks lays good in my hand, both left and right. It's very strong. It's nice tempered, and uh, yeah, I like it very much. This is a nice one. Uh, of course, um, bottle opener, different style, using a hexagon nut and another screw. Made some. Yeah, you see here uh, some. Uh, some different type works very well. Also, I had hooks back on hooks. I made a couple of those. I just moved the tripod for you so you can see it much better. Right there. And I get the light from the side, maybe. Here we go. Whoopa. Yeah, this is a Halloween hook. Um, it's got a type of skull. And I made the nails for it, so you can put it on a board, on a, on a piece of wood or wherever. And uh, this is my Halloween type. This uh, could be a bat, like uh, Batman, you know the bat. So you have uh, two holes in here. You nail it or you screw it, however. Yeah, this one is uh, a little different. It's a double hooked, but in this case, I made. Uh, come on. I made him. Um, I don't know what it was. Maybe an African shalala. I don't know what his name is from this guy. It's just uh, it was on my mind. I made it. Or. Another one, this type, with old nails, huh? square forge, uh, square nails, I forged them all. Um, the easy type, just uh, without a plate in the back, 
did a twist in there, finished it all up. And uh, this one is polished and has a, a clear coating. And the others I have uh, painted or sometimes I uh, got um, 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 be waxed also. Um, here, this is another type. You can put it on a door and hang, hang your jackets or your outdoor stuff. You can hang it there. You have two nice hooks, they're not sharp, which is a good idea always. And uh, then I was creative also. I did, I did a job. Did this job on? Oh, yeah, here we go. I did a job and made a uh, dinosaur or something like this. Oh, it's kind of cool since um, I managed this iPhone with my filming, and so it's tacked. Uh, the body, it's full. It's full type metal. It's heavy. Um, Okay, I gave it a face somehow. Yeah, um, have an indication of land where it's walking on. Has a stand also. Many, it will stand. It has three points: one, two, and, and the tail, so it won't fall. But I think it looks much better if uh, you create some floor or ground where it's walking on. And from the back, it looks this way. Light will catch it. It's just flashing. Yeah, um, we got some detailed hands, and you see it, I see it, you see it. So if I can see it, you can see it. Yeah, I apologize for uh, being not online on YouTube, but I had to clear off my mind like 50. 40 to 50 vids a day coming in and I tried to watch them all and I really got mad on this and so I had to take a big breakdown. Being a YouTuber is not easy if you're on a full-time job. I apologize to all of my subscribers. Yeah, so um, that is some of that stuff I made. I had, um, I had some some things more but they already let um, they got out of my house so I cannot show it anyway um, but there was many more this just to let you know I'm I'm okay I don't have uh, issues um, I'm not ill or something like that I'm fine I'm doing well and I tried to come back on YouTube and thank you for watching and see you on the next Bye-bye.